Okay, guys, so we're going to read this book called Who Wants a Tortoise? Tortoise is a... It's a turtle. turtle. Ooh. Let's see what it is. It has a in it. Okay, let's see. I've been waiting my whole life to get a puppy. A rascally, a rascally guy with a waggly tail. I make lists of cute dog names. I read about training puppies. I dream of all the adventures I'll have with my trusty dog at my side. A puppy is the only thing I want for my birthday, but the present with the holes in the top doesn't have a puppy in it. What is that? whispers Sasha. She has a golden retriever. Is it dead? asks Emily. She has a Dalmatian. It's a tortoise, says Eric, who's an expert on gross stuff. That's a reptile. It has cold blood. He has a wiener dog. Look at all the dogs they have. And she has a turtle. A tortoise? I croak. Who wants a tortoise? I don't cry until I open Sasha's presents. After everyone leaves, Daddy says he told me a million times that he's allergic to dogs. Did you ever think I might be allergic to a dumb tortoise? I shout. <gasps> oh, she has an attitude. Hi, Smacky Doo. I don't have a list of cute tortoises' names, so I don't name him anything. Hey, you tortoise. He doesn't seem to mind, but it's impossible to tell what a tortoise is thinking. I decide to see what my new lump of a pet can do. Fetch, boy, fetch. Turns out tortoise won't fetch anything. Nope, she's trying to throw toys at him and he's not getting it. That's because that's what dogs do. They also do not like rolling over. But when it comes to playing dead, my tortoise is an expert. Unlike dogs, tortoises will not lick your face. Give me a kiss. You don't want to do that either. Who wants a treat? Come on, boy, jump. Or beg for baloney. I'm home. And they do not get excited when you come through the door. Ooh. At least a tortoise doesn't squirm when you play makeover. I do his nails with sparkling raspberry delight. But he looks like a princess. You shouldn't use a glue stick on such a majestic creature. Mommy and I both make our mad face faces for the rest of the day. I think my tortoise is mad too, but it's still impossible to tell what he's thinking. Grammy and Grandpa come home. Grammy and Grandpa come for a visit and bring me a birthday present. A tortoise book. Tortoise have been around since the dinosaurs. Whoa, that's even older than you. My book says a tortoise like mine was the first reptile to go into space. So I make my tortoise a spacesuit. He actually looks kind of brave. If a tortoise can fly into space, going for a walk should be easy. But there's no place for the leash. Nothing a little duct tape can't fix. It turns out tortoises are actually pretty good at some things. When Sasha and I have a lemonade stand, we also sell chances to hold a real-life tortoise. Ooh, look, all the kids online because they want to hold the tortoise. We sell more tortoise than lemonade. Next page. Eric and I set up a racetrack. My guy wins by a mile. Who is it? Mm. Oh, snails. In a mile. Snails against the mm -hmm. um, mile? tortoise. Tortoise. On sharing day at school, my tortoise pops, poops on Brenda's desk. On sharing day at school, my tortoise poops on Brenda's desk, which is totally great. Dumb turtle, he says. How dare you? 
I say. Tortoises hate being called turtles. Besides, everyone knows turtles live in water and tortoises live on land. They do, he says? I discovered there's one thing tortoises are too good at, hide and seek. After 20 minutes, we start to panic. Here, tortoise, tortoise, tortoise. We shout a billion times, but a tortoise almost never comes when you call. We knock on everyone's door. Uh-oh, now she lost him. We hang 50 signs and offer our lemonade money for a reward. Maybe he dug underground to hibernate till next spring. What is he thinking? He'll miss Christmas and everything. When it gets dark, I set out a plate of butter, lettuce, which is like chocolate chip cookies to a tortoise, and I leave the porch light on just in case. Days go by. I put fresh butter lettuce out every night. I can't sleep with my poor little tortoise out in the big world all by himself with only his shell to protect him. He never made any noise, but the house seems quieter without him. A week later, Mommy happens to mention that Mrs. Gilbert down the street thinks a rabbit is nibbling her turnips and cabbages. I'm out the door so fast I forget to swallow my spaghetti. You naughty little tortoise, I shout. Don't worry, I tell Miss Gilbert. This rascally guy with the waggly tail belongs to me. My book is, my book is on the page. Somebody is extra shy about all the action. No, somebody is extra shy about all the attention at his welcome home parade. Welcome home, tortoise. We celebrate by painting our toenails. Sparkling raspberry delight. That night after we settle down in our beds, the whole house feels quiet, but this time it's a tortoise kind of quiet. Just before I fall asleep, I remember my favorite name on my list of cute dog names. It's perfect. Good night, Rover, I say into the darkness. Look now, he's sleeping next to her. Then I dream of all the adventures I'll have with my trusty tortoise on my side. For my pet tortoise, Shelly, who taught me you can never tell what a tortoise is thinking. To Felix and Alex, who love. The end. Ooh, no, don't. Ooh, look at these cute drawings. And it says, it's impossible to tell what a tortoise is thinking. Mommy, mommy, what is this?